Hello, so welcome to a new video. Surprisingly, people want me to react to reaction channels, which I understand. I can find that entertaining. I can see where the entertainment lays. And we're gonna do it in Amberlynn Reed fashion. I don't care enough to learn how to edit. I don't care about that. I don't care to have a little thing down here like all reaction channels have. I just don't care enough. I'm not a reaction channel. I'm just doing this for fun. So I decided to choose a reaction channel that I've only seen a few of their videos. And yeah, the video is called How Will Amber Lynn Win Back Her Audience? Anyways, let's get into this. Happy Thursday, pumpkin people. For today's adventure through the Adipose, you will need new makeup. Oh, and by the way, I am watching this at 1.5 speed, so I hope it's not too fast for you guys. Normally, I watch all YouTube videos at two times speed. Um, my attention span is super short, so I needed to go by quicker and faster. I decided I'm just going to do 1.5 for the sake of this video, so I don't like frustrate anyone with like it going too quickly. This is an energy drink of your choosing and some tape to keep your eyelids open. Take that last bite because we are swallowing our way back into the Amberverse. Hello, welcome to a new video. Oh, okay. This is uh, the day I got my CT scan results back. You know what I find very interesting about reaction channels? I don't understand the thought process behind reacting to a vlog um unless something really exciting happens in the vlog but nine times out of ten like a vlogger on youtube is very much like day-to-day -day life which is the boring stuff if you will it's not entertaining i watch a few vloggers who i love um they're white noise that i watch them while i'm eating sometimes while i'm writing it's good stuff to watch in that way but if i was to like sit there and react to it it's a snooze fest so i just don't understand um reacting to my vlogs it's very strange there really is no point you know i mean wh what are we doing here we're, we're just kind of observing this woman's life there's not really a point. Yes, that is true. Vlogs are observing someone's life. I don't know. A little, little existential dread to start off the episode. Girl, when you're clearing well over six figures and you have been by working in your house for five hours a week for years now, what's $20 on a makeup brush? But, but I'm not going to get to it. You know, I could talk about why she's doing that because she's not getting in on the rent or anything like that, but I'm not going to. Wait, what? No, I'm not. Not getting in on the rent. Are you insinuating that she doesn't pay for rent? Because she very much does. She pays half of all the bills. Um, I'm very grateful for that. So $20 for a makeup brush? What's the point? Oh my gosh, the point. It keeps making it keeps making its rounds tonight. What's the point in you bringing that up? I think $20 for a makeup brush, even if you're like Kim Kardashian, like it's $20 for a makeup brush. I just find it to be kind of pricey. Look how nice, I'm so excited. No consistency. Uh-uh. <sighs> I like to look presentable when I go in public, and nine times out of ten, I don't. <laughs> I don't know, I went through an era, I don't know if like you guys went through this era too, ever, like if you wear makeup, where I would never leave the house without makeup on. Or... I just don't like myself without makeup. Now, that kind of makes sense to me, because I feel like with Amber Lynn, she is very about control. And when it comes to... How do I work this? How are they turning this into a control thing? I'm just saying like, I don't like how I look without makeup and I, at a young age, um, I hated it even more. But as I have grown older, it's like, I'm gonna be seen without makeup. When it comes to nourishment, she feels like she doesn't have a lot of control. So for things like having nice makeup, that's something that she can control. So she went through a period of time where she always had to wear makeup when she was leaving the house. It makes sense. You know, if you don't feel like you can control some things in your life, well, hey, at least I can put on a full mug of makeup. I did it because I think that I'm ugly. Right, what are we doing? All right, Amberlynn Reed. Right, right, right. Amberlynn Reed. Okay, makeup, yeah. It's like super anxious about this appointment. Like I talked about in yesterday's, yesterday, yesterday's episode. She gets anxious anytime she goes out of the house. You know how you meet that? You know how you remove that from your life? No, I don't. Wait, what? Oh, and I feel like I should go watch the video you're talking about. No, um, I don't. I was anxious here because I was going to the doctor. Every time I go to the doctor, anything to do with health related, I get super anxious. It's not about leaving the house. I love leaving the house. Came from first hand experience because I did that. I mean, like, anytime doing anything, going anywhere, anxiety. You know how you beat that? Every day, leave the house, go do something. It doesn't matter. Like, I can get that. There was 
a time in my life and it was actually a recent time where leaving the house did give me a lot of anxiety but I think I'm out of that now because like you know the last 10 plus places I've been that wasn't the doctor wasn't the hospital um I actually didn't have any anxiety at all it felt so freeing to be able to just be in public and not be so scared do I get a little anxious over stupid shit like walking across the street um, as a car is waiting for me. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, little things make me anxious, but I don't get anxiety leaving the house anymore. So the whatever advice you're fixing to give past Amberlynn, you should have told her then. <laughs> It doesn't matter where, it's consistency. It's asking for it, it says anxiety, uncomfortableness, panic, bring it on. Hit me with your best shot. And when you start to do it every day, you show yourself and you show your mind that you are more powerful than those thoughts and you can do it. And then it will start, it won't bother you anymore. With anxiety, once you beat it, for me personally, it, it did, it felt like a light switch. I, I, wow. I used to be like a wreck sometimes with anxiety, just nerve. That's actually really inspiring and motivating because I feel like a lot of people watching you probably suffers with anxiety. I feel like anxiety is so common now. Hear that and to know that, you know, that's possible to get to that point is really inspiring because I'm almost 32. I've had anxiety for almost 14 years and it's gotten so much better because, you know, he's right. You, you learn how to manage it in a sense. Sometimes it feels impossible and other times I have to remind myself mind over matter all the time stomach churning you know like the, the nervous stomach like butterflies in your stomach just awful and then it's night and day night and day so amber you got to be getting out of the house every day it doesn't matter what just push yourself to do things that scare you because when you do you become stronger i believe it i'm hoping we get some answers <sighs> i don't know finally found a doctor who just like <laughs> it's phenomenal i feel like i haven't really talked much about this whole situation since i uploaded this video this doctor is amazing it was uh i was just so grateful for her and i shared a little bit about you know my past with doctors and just feeling like unheard kind of and she said that it does happen for people my size that they they don't always get heard you know i am so shocked that i was just suffering with walking pneumonia because i always imagine pneumonia as are in your bed you have a fever you, you know but i guess there's a such thing as walking pneumonia and that's what i had yeah that's scary but i and health professionals thought that it could have been a lot worse so i'm just very very grateful am i frustrated that i had a nodule and then i went back and they said i didn't have one yeah because there was a lot of misdiagnoses, if you will. I just have to be grateful that I stood my ground. I had people that were listening. I think we figured it out. So that's a good thing. So the collapsed lung never happened. The nodule never happened. Or maybe it didn't never happen. It just healed on its own. But that is very possible. My doctor did mention that benign nodules tend to disappear. So if I did have a nodule, it was clearly benign and it disappeared. Or if they just misread it, she said it could have been due to the fluid. It just seemed awfully coincidental. You know me? Wait, hold on. Gotta bring out the speculation in me. So you're about to see here, my mood completely changes. I have never known myself or anyone to go and have like a slew of medical issues, like the golden corral buffet of medical issues and have... I, I don't think this type of speculation is healthy for anybody. Speculating someone's health, like I'm literally, I've been so frustrated and scared with this whole thing. And I've shared with you guys every step of the way. You guys confused? Imagine how I was feeling. Like I was so confused. What type of person does that make you? to speculate on someone else's health and fears and anxieties of what they're going through. Should this go wrong on the medical staff's end? I mean, so many misdiagnoses, is that a word, misdiagnosis, whatever. Just so much chaos, so many weird, vague yeah. answers. Like yeah. this didn't happen, that didn't happen. Like everything is resolving itself within a week's time. It's just- It hasn't been a week. Um, It's been over a month of just like fear, tests confusions diagnoses confusions and for you to even be questioning it's just kind of sad it's strange not saying that she's fibbing i'm not saying that i just think it's odd me if, too if, you know, if this is actually what's <laughs> going on it, it's very strange that all of these errors are taking place <sighs> one after another like this i just had to like 
immediately tell you guys because I just feel so much better. You have no idea. So we're at the good old world market. I've not been here in years, so I'm pretty pumped. Look I'm gonna go back cool. already. Obsessed with her. She has a little blemish. I just want to say something. So we're almost halfway done with this episode. I would say over the past month, views have been down drastically. I- For who? I'm lucky to get the 20,000. Amber, I, I would say like in the recent past, the last few months, she's been doing like maybe triple, triple what I do, 60, 70. If, if it was like a thumbnail. Views, such a hot topic lately Um, when it comes to my channel. I never look at video views per video. I've never done that, very rare. I've always looked at monthly views. I think it's been for like the last year now. Um, I've steadily gotten the same amount of views per month. Um, the views that I get, I'm so beyond grateful for. A lot of people are on YouTube and they don't even get that many. I started YouTube thinking that only like 100 people would watch me. And somehow, some way, things just got bigger, better, grander. I got the most views when I was the least mobile, when I was the most miserable, when I was at my heaviest, when I was filming just mukbangs and the trolling. I don't consider that to be like a successful moment in my YouTube career just based on views. I think success is more than views. It's about the way that your audience is, how they treat you, how you treat them. I don't think it's about views because if it was, the time in my life where I was the most miserable, trigger warning, unaliving, it's not something I really talked about. I would share like small glimpses of that and try to talk about it, but then people would say I was just doing it for sympathy. To feel like you did not be, want to be alive anymore and sharing that and like slightly having a cry for help and for people to tell you that you're lying and you're only doing that for sympathy, that's a rough feeling. And yeah, I got a lot of views then. I got a lot of money. I didn't like it. I did not like how I felt back then. My mental health is still rough, but how I feel now is better. And yes, I'm always looking for improvement. But when it comes to views, I'm very grateful for the ones that I have. So thinking about the ones that I no longer have serves me zero purpose. Rarity here, she absolutely agrees. And like, I remember the one thumbnail she made where she was like, Nick Okada ruined my life. And it was like her crying. That one got like 87,000 views or something. But I I'm sorry. I just don't see the longevity here. I, I, I don't know why. I hate to say it, but I feel like we're nearing the end. Of what? Reaction channels? Okay. But we are not nearing the end of Amberlynn Reed. I will be on here if I'm only making 5,000 views and I have to work flipping burgers down the street. I'm still going to be on YouTube. Nearing the end because I am trying my hardest to just... Be me and not troll with just all this nonsense that I've done in the past. I'm sorry there's not major drama to talk about or major talking points. Like this is just my day-to-day -day life. And that is what I've done from the very beginning. And if you are bored reacting to that, or if you know the longevity of this is uh, coming near for you, then just give up because I'm not gonna give up. I have thousands of people who wait for my content daily. I am not going anywhere because of those people. And this is usually when people say, no, you're not going anywhere because of money. Sure, that's a plus too. This is my job, but this is also where I'm happy and I want to be happier. And I just, I want the vibe around my channel to feel different and better, but I want to be able to do things like this where maybe I can discuss certain topics that are being talked about reaction channels are talking about me i should be able to also talk about me we, we can't be doing this this isn't this isn't fun this isn't real i feel like you guys are bored and you know i, I get it like it's a vlog i don't i yes there are reaction channels who react to songs or music videos or like little clips of things but there is no reaction channel that is away from Amberlynn or Chantel who takes one creator or two creators especially vloggers and reacts to every single one of their vlogs i've tried to find it 
I can't find it anywhere. You're bored because you're reacting to a vlog of just a normal everyday life person. This isn't the content that you should react to. React to something thrilling, something that people actually feel like is worth a reaction. I'm grateful that you want to continue reacting to me. I don't see the point. I'm confused by the point and I'm trying to find it. Reaction channels skirt around it and they never like, like what's the point? Like why are you doing this? Knowing my content is boring. I know, I, I feel like I say this every week and I feel like you guys are getting really sick of it, but exploring other options come 2023, it, it, it's gotta. Do it's it. Gotta, because I, I, can't, I can't be doing, you know, let, let me put on my makeup, uh, let me sit on this bench outside the doctor's office and tell you guys that my medical thing was a fluke. Girl. This is a vlog. This is a good vlog. And you're mad that I was sitting outside of my doctor's office with good news. Come on now. And yes, I'm going to a store. It's a vlog. I'm, what do you like? Ugh. Sometimes I'm Girl, speechless. Your biggest competitor, not size, views, foodie booty. And comparing me to Chantel constantly, it's like, okay, we're both two females who are fat, but we are nothing alike. We live completely different lives. So why are we constantly comparing? She just flew across the world to the Middle East to meet her online boyfriend three weeks. <laughs> and I wish her nothing but luck. But yes, she had to uncomfortably fly across the country for someone she loves while I get to sleep next to that person every single night. So I don't see the comparison. And that's not shade. I'm just saying. I would much rather have my life, if you're gonna compare, at least make it make sense. And if you do find that content to be more entertaining, then find other vloggers who are like travel vloggers and react to them, cause this ain't it. Not right now. Let me lose some weight first, uh, figure out where I wanna travel to first, and then we can get to that stage. T, that is something that people wanna come to watch reaction channels on. Yes. People want to react to tea. They want to react to drama. They want to react to entertainment. That's like shock value. I don't always got that for you. And I tried way too hard in 2019 to give that to people and it fucking ruined me. Not doing it again. I'm not. It has a blemish on the breast and I think that we're gonna buy it anyway. Like We did and we love know. it. I don't know. Our titties <laughs> party. I'm gonna show you guys what I got from her. I, I, you know, I love seeing tweaking and everything, but what was that? Like a whole minute, it was just nothing. It was dead air. It was just her holding the phone horizontal. <sighs> like, oh, we're home, we're home. Like, I usually edit out all those moments, but I'm trying to be more real. I feel like constant like edits, like clip, clip, isn't as so authentic. So yeah, you heard me breathing for five to 10 seconds. I'm sorry. This is your channel. You're the one reacting to it. Mm. Oh, Markin. Okay, so. First things first, we got some- Like, do you see how bored he is? This is what people vlog. I mean, the people I watch, and I watch quite a few vloggers. Um, This isn't what people react to. So don't be getting mad at me for making your video boring because this is a vlog. Like, I just feel like I'm in Twilight Zone half the time and he's fast forwarding it. It's just funny because it's like, he knows what my content is. It's like, what are you looking for? What are you in search of? What are you in need of? Because I don't think I'm the one. Like, you might have to fire me. I'm sorry because I'm not going to change my content for no reaction channel but it's just like seeing this perfectly clear as ever like he's miserable so you could tell that this is literally he's just doing this for money which I get it we're all here to make a pretty penny I get it but it's like you're miserable poor thing so good yeah Okay, you guys, so I think it's time. I'm bored watching you watch me. Like, I could never watch reactions of my favorite vloggers. How boring. I, I hate to keep bringing this up, but I mean, you saw I just skipped through like a whole minute. I, I mean, really? This is the whole episode? Let me put on makeup. I honestly could be saying the same thing. Like, I mean, really? This is your content? Your little tiny face? Just chilling? Saying how boring something is? But yet still just like watching it and reacting? Cut the video off and say, you know what? I'm not reacting to this one. Like I wanted to give you a chance at the beginning of this. I wanted to, but like what is happening? This like took a turn for sure. Because I try to give people ben benefit of the doubt, always. Let me change the contents of my purse to a different purse. I, I so love some, vlogs some, like that. Some type of conversation better come up in the next three minutes or this is just what I've had forever. I usually switch purses more often, but I was about to say, this just like also proves that like he relies on me for his channel. Truly. 
because it's like he had nothing else to upload. He had nothing else to say, nothing else to talk about. So it's like he's miserable in this whole video and yet he's still like, let me upload this. Let me do that. Her response would be to my just complete boredom watching this. She would say, you know what Amber Lynn would say? Well, then why do you watch? Well, then why do you make... <laughs> yes, it looks stupid. I'm not calling you stupid, but it looks dumb. Action videos, if it's, if it's so boring. And you know what? That's, that's probably the worst attitude and the worst viewpoint she could have of it. I'm a, Technically, I'm almost 500 pounds. What do you expect from me in a vlog? Truly and whole fucking heartedly, what do you expect? Me to go to Disneyland? Can't do that right now, sir. I'm sorry. I have a lipedema that I am trying to figure out. I can't, I can't do stuff like that. You want me to go across, across the country? I currently can't. I wasn't even able to go to Oklahoma to go to my family member's wedding, which was my plan until it got all interrupted. And what is it that you're wanting for me? I don't have what, what you're looking for. Fire me, please. And I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to my viewers, haters or supporters. I'm not talking to them. I'm talking to you, the reactor. Fire me, truly. And I, I just, I don't know what kind of content you want to react to. I'm not making my vlogs of my life reactable. I'm making them for the people who enjoy them for the right reasons. I'm probably coming off as a bitch right now, but I just find this frustrating. I find it confusing. I find it exhausting. Aren't you exhausted? my channel for like a good minute or two and she watched my videos and she was like cracking up but the week before that she was like um jordy's disgusting foul i think i think that's a word um i was laughing because you know if someone says something funny and i think it's funny even if i hate them i'm gonna laugh so i don't really know where her at where like her view of me stands at the moment oh where does my view of you stand? This is quite the video for me to react to. I'm not going to lie. My view of you is you react to me for views. You react to me for money. You are bored with me and you complain about literally almost everything. It's almost insufferable. It's like hard to watch. Um, that is a common denominator with reaction channels and me. Y'all complain constantly. It's very rare that you say something nice about me. And when you do, it's like condescending or passive aggressive, or it's like you're not shouting it as loud as your complaints. I'm not this like cold hearted person. I'm not malicious. Like truly people have the wrong idea of me. Like unless the people in my life are lying to me, then they tell me y'all have the wrong idea of me as well. You, you got to step it up, hon. You have to step it up. I'm not, this is where you are fucking like confused, maybe? I'm not stepping it up for you guys. I'm sorry, but I'm not. I like where my views are. Y'all have more issues with my views than I have issues with my own. Like, it's absurd. The people who enjoy my content for the right reasons are enjoying my content for the right reasons. That's, that's literally the bottom line. And I will forever be grateful for my views and for the people who watch me forever. Like, I don't say it enough and I should, but like, I ain't stepping up nothing. I'm going to continue trying to be as relatable as possible. And you know what's not relatable? A 500 pound girl skydiving. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Step it up. This is my life right now. You know, there are days where... It is so hard for me to turn on the camera. There are days where I wish I had another source of income so I can go outside of myself for money. Because to make money, I have to talk about myself. As much as I'm grateful, sometimes it's hard because my mental health can be bad. It could be so bad. So the fact on days where I don't even wanna like whisper a letter out of my mouth, I still manage to find some weird energy inside of me to even film for thousands of people to just tear me apart like says a lot that i am i'm trying already in my own way 
Um, you might not see it or understand it, but you know what? I'm up in my shit in a different way. Reaction channels are just not that important to me <laughs> for me to just like up my content to make it better for y'all. It's special to me in a way because there's so much more like behind it it's hard to explain. There's so much more behind it, more emotion behind it than you guys know or understand. <laughs> Look at Rarity. Because when, if I move to Foodie Booty or if I move to Girl Defined or, you know, all these other things, if I take my channel in a different direction, Ooh. this falls by the ways. Who's Girl Defined? I love a new YouTuber, so I'm going to try to remember that name. It's not good. It's not good. Because views recently, I mean, we are. We're taking punch. We really are. So th this video in its entirety, we can't, I mean, come 2023, we have to change something up because we have been doing this since last fall. Last fall, it's just been this reiterated. Let me try on makeup, look what I bought, look at what I got at the grocery store. That like, it, it can't go on. It's been going on for a lot longer than I anticipated. I mean, here we are in November of 2022, still doing the same tired carnival ride. Uh, uh, I mean, it, this ain't it, you guys. This is not it. And out of the complete collection. I'm also, sorry for you, months. question mark. This book is called Kiss Number Eight. Obviously, my wallet's in there, which. <laughs> Let me start from the beginning. YouTube actually has a section in Creator Studio where um, it shows the copyright section, which shows the videos that are on YouTube that have your video in it, um, like a certain percentage. And it gives you the option to send out copyright strike. That's why when people tell me like I have false copyrighted in the past, so not true. <laughs> I would never do that. But a lot of his videos have been popping up in my little section. You guys wouldn't even believe thousands of videos are in that copyright section where I can just strike, strike. It just is one click. Don't do it, won't do it, haven't done it. 